Hello everyone and welcome to the D-Heart House. My name is Alicia and I'm your host of this crafty channel here on YouTube. Today is Saturday, September 28th. I have to look at my watch. And we are well into the fall season now. So about a week into the fall season. I'm a little behind on my <laughs> uh, summer making wrap-up video so that's what I'm going to record for you here right now today um I am now wearing Invisalign braces or is, is it just Invisalign but <laughs> it's clear I mean that's the idea is they're supposed to be mostly invisible but I notice Sometimes when I'm talking, I have a little bit of a hard time pronouncing certain syllables or sounds. So that's what's going on. I'm still adjusting to these. <laughs> so um, I'm going to do my best to get through this. But yeah, summer has finished the summer season on the calendar. We are still having a little bit of summer weather pop in every now and then, but for the most part, it does actually feel like fall outside now. The uh, cooler weather has come in, so we're no longer getting into the 90 degree, 80 degree temperature range, except for maybe like a little bit into close to the 80s. But now we're mostly in the 60 degree, 70 degree, 70 degree range, so it's wonderful. It's nice to uh, not have to have the heat or the air conditioning running to cool the house. So anyway, I'm going to share with you today my, uh, I'm going to remind us all of what was on my summer making list and then talk about the items I was able to make off that list in the summer season. So on my summer making list, I have my book here to remind me. I put three items on my summer making list. I have the Luminous Tea by Yamagara, Cumulus Tea by Petit Knit, and Zen with a Twist by Hinterum Stein. And all three of them were calling for fingering weight yarn. And as summer knits, that's kind of what I was going for was a nice uh, thin fabric, lightweight. Uh, two of these are t-shirts. One of them is a sleeveless shirt. I was going to say halter top, but that was wrong. <laughs> sleeveless uh, shirt, kind of like a vest-ish but um, sadly only one of these was completed. So I started by casting on the Cumulus Tea by Petite Knit in 100% cotton fingering weight yarn. And I got quite a ways before realizing that um, I was having sizing issues with the garment. So I had put it on, put the live stitches onto extra circular needles and I tried it on and it was too large, giving a much more oversized look than intended. Uh, as such, <laughs> the V-neck was also coming down much lower than in any of the pattern pictures. So I knew something was off with my tension and gauge or yarn choice, something like that. So unfortunately, I did not finish the Cumulus Tea in the summer. In fact, um, it is still, <laughs> it is still just laying around, uh, waiting to be ripped back and uh, when I rip back, I'm going to decide, uh, I think I decided I, w I still want to make this t-shirt in that yarn. 
but I think I will go down a needle size and go down a size in the pattern and that hopefully that would be enough to overcome those issues because when I was measuring my gauge in the fabric the number of stitches per inch was matching the recommended gauge in the, the pattern so I don't I don't know uh, the pattern uh, suggested yarn is a hundred percent silk I was using a hundred percent cotton I just don't think those two are that different but maybe I just don't know when I don't know enough about 100% silk to know if it behaves in a similar way to cotton. So, uh, so unfortunately, that that project did not get finished. Um, in fact, it needs to come out completely. Uh, but I did cast on the luminous tea and finish it. So I had started with cumulus, and then I had moved to luminous, and I did finish the luminous tea. Uh, I love it. It is reversible, so the front and back. Um, so I did use hand spun yarn in here, which is why I, I like that it's reversible because the bits where I was using the hand spun, it isn't the same on the front and the back. So when I'm putting it on, I can kind of decide which way I want to wear it. But yeah, this is a paid for pattern, so I'm not going to give away all the secret sauce. But uh, FYI, I chose this pattern on my summer knit list. I was trying to go for different... I didn't want to just be knitting the same thing three times from three different designers. So I chose the Cumulus T because I thought, well, it's got kind of this neat, mostly raglan thing going on on the top. And then this had a different kind of construction, being uh, bottom up with this chevron feature. And then Zen with a twist wouldn't be a t-shirt, it would be a sleeveless thing, but I liked the um, ribbing details in the top. So I wanted them each to bring their own element to my wardrobe. But yeah, so this is a bottom up construction, which means um, it's difficult to try things on as you go. But I, I did do a bunch of measuring I did a lot of blocking along the way to make sure that I could figure out how this fabric was going to be after blocking and then measure. And I did have to rip, I made a lot of progress and then I had to rip all of this out at the bottom here and start over. I moved to smaller, a smaller needle size and I got better gauge that way. And now it's a garment that fits. But I used uh, some commercial yarn. So the main color is this like charcoal color. It's not charcoal on the tag. Is it? I don't know. I have it in my, on the Ravelry project page, but it's a, uh, it's cloudborne fiber. 100% uh, wool and then I have my hand spun here which I completely lost the tags for so I'm not really sure what this composition is but I know it has silk in it somewhere it's very very soft and I'm just trying to think of that color name I can't think of it but yeah, I did, uh, I did follow the pattern. I didn't really do many modifications. The only things I modified were adding some length in different places so that it would fit. Um, I added some length to the arm opening so that my arm could go through it and that the bottom of the armhole would not be 
really tight in my armpit. I like having some space down here. So I did add a little bit of length in the armhole section. I also added a little bit of length uh, from the armhole down to the bottom of the garment. Uh, if you do make this, the, the bottom edge is not straight across. It is not straight across. It actually comes up a little bit in the middle and then back down off to the side. So I added a little length because I didn't want like my belly button to be showing <laughs> in the middle. So I added a little bit of length there so that I would be able to wear this to work, possibly, or church or things like that and not feel inappropriate. So yeah, I really like it. I like the, uh, there's a bit of crochet that's written in. So you kind of add this detail up at the top of the shoulder where you go in and do like an applique applique chain stitch on the top here and I just think it's cool to see the different the stripes coming together you do you pick up and do this little bit of edging in the contrast color which my contrast color is my hand spun so I like it. Uh, this did use up roughly 946 yards from my stash to make my size. I think I knit size 4, if I remember correctly. And yeah. Unfortunately, I did not cast on the Zen with a twist at all. So I didn't. Um, I didn't even purchase the pattern because I, I thought I would wait to purchase them until I was ready to cast on. And yeah, so I didn't even purchase the pattern. I didn't cast on at all. The Luminous Tea I finished towards the end of August. So August 25th is when I finished it. So two months into summer. And then after that, I just lost all motivation to work on summer knits. It was, you know, beginning of September and we had gotten a, uh, a wave of cool weather that came in for like three days and it rained and it was chilly and I just, it <laughs> completely destroyed any thought of knitting things for summer. And I started thinking about fall. So that ended my summer focused making. So I am happy I did finish a garment. So I have a goal for the year to create at least one garment every season this year. So I have uh, completed one for winter, one for spring, and one for summer. Like at least one. So I I am still keeping that goal. All I have is fall left to go, but I was very, I felt so defeated by the cumulus tea and I didn't even rip back and try it again. And my luminous tea, which I ripped back several times and re-knit several times. And I just wanted a project that would work start to finish without all of those complications. So <laughs> it was a bit frustrating, but uh, I am noticing that those, those things are just kind of a part of knitting for a body is that, um, there's room, there's wiggle room in how we knit with our tension and our yarn choices. Um, and then following a pattern that, you know, I've picked out, I think it looks really good on other individuals who've made this and, and taken photographs and, and posted them on Ravelry with their projects. And it's possible that part of my uh, troubles are that, you know, I have a different body type than those individuals and it's just 
fitting differently on my body than on theirs. So I struggled with coming to terms with all of those things. But in the end, I'm happy I have a garment to show for. Um, and I'm, I'm excited about fall because I have already started those projects. So yeah. So in the end, I have I have mixed feelings about my summer making. I'm glad I made a garment, but I was on the struggle bus the whole season and it just didn't bring me, it didn't bring me joy. I finished the garment cause I made the goal to make at least one. And I'm like, I gotta, I gotta pick one of these to finish. So I did, but I didn't feel didn't feel the joy as much as I wanted to. Uh, but I will tell you, my fall knits are currently bringing me a lot of joy. So <laughs> there is an upswing to the seasonal making, which is kind of funny. But yeah, so in the next video, I'm going to share with you all what I have plans for with my fall making. So until then, I hope that you stay safe, healthy, and that you enjoy your crafts, whatever they may be. Bye.